it is Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Believe it or not, we're getting snow today. It's actually Sunday, and um, we we were like 70 degrees yesterday. Um, we dropped down to like 60 um, on Saturday, and then today, like the high is going to be like 39. We got snow outside. I mean, it's snowing. It's not sticking. But we got snow. And I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> um, of course, you know, um, the time changed. So we lost our sleep. And um, I'm super tired. <laughs> but the thing of it is, is that, um, you know, we do get like an Easter snow. So I'm hoping... Um, cause Easter's not clear till the 31st of this month. So I'm kind of hopeful that, um, you know, this is the Easter snow and that we're done. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, please. Oh, please. Um, in front of you, you guys see a Cattleya on a mount. Um, this is the beautiful, um, Cattleya that Ken mounted on this board and sent to me. And, um... Guess what? We've got to take it off the board. Uh, reason being is because um, it's not being sustained uh, with enough moisture on the mount. Just like I had, you know, issues with my parafalanopsis and all that. These guys just take a, a fair amount of moisture and they're not getting it on the mount. So this one did bloom for me last year. Um, I'm hoping... I left her soak overnight, so I'm hopeful that these roots that are um, on everything will um, take take off, you know, come off and peel off nicely um, because I don't want to damage them. But um, this is a real pretty, um, this is um, RLC... Tainan, Tainan City, cross with Lewis Joints. Um, I, I will show you, I'll put the picture up on there because like I said, she did bloom for me. It was very pretty. Um, so I want to get her in a pot and uh, so that she can do even better. She, um, I will show you how you can tell <clears throat> um, that they're not getting enough moisture uh, is because the new growth, which this is a new growth, and it's, it's, don't get me wrong, it's fairly, it's a fairly nice new growth. But if you look at the difference between the new growth, this one here is also a new growth. They are smaller and not as long, not as wide. Um, so that, that's a good indicator that this plant's not getting what it needs on amount. So... In my environment, it, they're best in pots. So, oof, those were bad roots anyways, but they they stuck and didn't. Yeah, I was hoping, I'm hoping that the good roots come right off pop like that. Yes, please, 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 please. So, these two big ones up here, I'm not sure. They did hydrate and they're just going to pull right up off nicely. Which is good, but I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to pot them. <laughs> we have to see after I get her off of the mount. Um, this is usually not very easy. Um, like I said, this is a pretty good sized Cattleya for one thing. And um, so I don't want to, um, yeah, I want to try to not do that much damage to her because I think uh, I actually think her bloom cycle should be coming up so those might bloom but they might not be as nice as they were the following year because of her not getting enough moisture and whatnot so yeah let's see how this goes oops that one broke that one I mean that one was really snappy she will come up off here. Not too bad. That wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Good, 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 good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm learning real quick that, um, you know, and I water my mounts daily. So, 
you know, it's, it's kind of, kind of frustrating, um, you know, unless, and I can't always, you know, they're, they're up there where I can't always reach them. So it's not, um, feasible for me to always get up there, get them down, soak them. Um, that just, you know, can't happen. So it has to work out somehow or another that I can get them on a mount or get them, you know, uh, wet enough, but it, it really wasn't working. So this way here in a pot, she will be good to go then. We won't have any issues with that. So let's remove some of this moss, which we are going to put <clears throat> some moss in her pot. I've been doing that with a few, um, just like some chunks. Um, it's definitely a help. She's definitely a climber, that, but that's typical. That, that is typical of cat layers, so that's nothing new, unusual. Um, as you can see from behind, she's definitely, she's got some good roots still. She does have some, I'm trying to see if that was the moss that was smelly. Yeah, she was definitely growing. Um, that was another issue that I was having with her was she was growing her new growth out on, you know, towards the mount um so um yeah she was kind of running out of space as well so this should make things a lot different now she should be able to um carry on and grow forward and not be so um you know so smashed to a board and have nowhere to go um but also um now she will she will have the correct amount of moisture and everything and i'm going to try not to mess with too much i want to leave some of the moss um it's like i said you know it is it is helping it is beneficial for you know giving them a little bit of extra moisture that they need so my grow space seems to be really drying a lot better than it has in the past so um but, like I said, her bloom time is coming up, so I don't want to mess with her too awful much. So, I don't want to take off too many roots. I don't want to, um, I don't want to mess with too much. Because if she still has an opportunity to bloom, she will do that. She will bloom for me, and I hope I'd like to see her bloom again. Um, <clears throat> Michael didn't like it, but I, I did. I didn't, I thought she was very pretty, very pretty. And I bet down here now I'll be able to smell her because I just almost guaranteed that she smelled phenomenal. So. I think I'm going to take those off because she's they're, they're just going to be buried down in a pot. So. If I don't. Yep, I think that's going to be good, you guys, right there. And I think, I think that's going to be a good, um, a good depth for, uh, roots and everything. So hang tight. Uh, let me, wipe my hands off and, uh, let me see about what size pot I'm going to put her in and I will be right back. Hey y'all, my channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. They have pots, they have media, they even sell orchids. 
Use my name, Code Hillbilly, in the code section for a 12% viewer's discount. They also do free shipping in the U.S. So go check them out, y'all. All right, we are back. And I do believe I'm going to put her in this, um, I think this is a six-inch pot, I do believe. These are the ones that don't really say they're green thumb. Uh, they do have a lot of holes in them. Uh, which I do, I am fearful of the roots, you know, growing out on these. So it does make me nervous. So what I'm going to do, and this, you know, this root might not make it, but I mean, it does have a good growing tip and everything. So I'm going to try to twist, twist her around in there to where she has them in the pot along with the rest of these roots back here. These ones are the dead ones that I want them gone. That's got a dead piece, I want it gone. All right, so now this is how she should set right in here, just like this. And I am gonna put her towards the back side of the pot because um, like I said, she is growing this direction, so her next new growth will even come out, uh, here and here probably, because she's got, she's got two, uh, different variations of growth, or, or, you know, two areas where she's growing from, so this is a new growth, and this is a new growth, so we will go along with that. Now, we're gonna add a little bit of the new moss. I do want that on the bottom because, sorry I don't mean to shake you guys, um, we do want good drainage. And the, um, the media we're using is Orchid Supply Store Media. We are using uh, the big chunk charcoal, the uh, large uh, popcorn perlite, and um, the, the coconut husk um, I, I purchased separately. Um, actually, I think this particular uh, batch of coconut husk treated is um, from Betty. I did get... Um, some Betty couldn't use it and she asked me if I'd like to have it and I was like certainly uh, no sense in you know a, a grower not being able to use something and then just throwing it away that was uh, very very nice of her to offer offer me the coconut husk chunks because um, yeah that way I could use them you know um, she couldn't use them. They just uh, would not dry out in her uh, area. So, yeah. Sad but true. I'm going to have to make some more media. So hang on, guys. I'll be right back. That was a quick mix-up. You see, it's the big, large charcoal. Um, the, the coconut husk chunks are pretty large, too. But the nice thing about them is, is the amount of water that they... That one's not... But the amount of water that they sustain and keep like that is really good. Really, really a plus. So that too will be beneficial for my plants. And I, I've had a I've had a terrific time uh, with growing in coconut husk chunks because um, my plants like it, they thrive in it, and I don't have any issues. So, you know, they don't mold. Uh, that was the problem she was having. They wouldn't dry out and they kept molding. So, I really hated that for her because, like, for me, I just find um, it's just an invaluable now how well my plants do in treated coconut husk chunks. So, I wish they could do the same for her, you know, in her environment, but they don't. 
uh, she can grow really good in lava rock and I can't. So there you go. <laughs> Me and her was talking, and she's she's having phenomenal um, time growing in um, lava rock, um, which she's not that far from Rick L. Um, in in Alabama. So, um, you know, I told her I was like, you know, maybe you just as well do that because he he grew in it and and grew phenomenally. So. Maybe that's what she needed to do, too. So she's been kind of in the switchover, but she did send me her her treated coconut husk. Or, well, she sent me the coconut husks, and I, of course, went ahead and treated it. So there we go. That should do it, you guys. Um, she's now potted up, and she will do tremendously better now. Uh, almost sure of it. Uh, like I said, I hope that I didn't, um, I tried not to, to mess with her too much so that, uh, maybe we'll get buds out of these guys. Maybe they, since they're getting more moisture and nutrients now, they should kind of take off and do better. Sometimes when you, um, when you take them off a mount like that and everything, you do set them back. I did break a few roots and that kind of thing. So I'm hoping that, uh, that didn't really happen too much and I mean we'll see we'll get to see the progress of her now as we go along so there we go that's taking my cat lay off of a mount and potting it up and if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and with that said I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me and bye for now y'all till we meet again